Hey guys, just about to play a game with the Raksha Golden Cub Commander deck. And I think we have a hand that's a keep. Um, we got a couple pieces of equipment, one of which will help us ramp, and a couple cats, um, and a Felwar Stone, which will also help us ramp. So I'm trying to decide what I'll, what order I want to play things in. I guess I'll decide when I get there, <laughs> but um, I think playing the Vanguard first is probably a bad idea. We probably want to play the Felwar Stone first because that way we know we're going to have the mana to like play the sword and equip the sword in the same turn, or at least probably. We do have to draw planes for that to be a guaranteed thing. I haven't actually looked at this. The Mimeoplasm, okay. It's a cool commander. All right, we did draw another one. Um, so let's think here. If I play the Felwar Stone now, next turn I can play the Vanguard and the Sword and then equip the Sword next turn. Seems pretty attractive, I guess. So, I mean, I could also play the Vanguard now yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to play and equip the sword next turn. Yeah, I'll just play the Felward Stone for now. The Prowler is also worth thinking about. Um, if our opponent plays a good blocker, then that's probably what we would do. Okay, we also managed to draw Shared Triumph. All right, we're going to play our Vanguard. See if that resolves. It does. And then we're going to try to play Sword of the Animist, who also resolves. So that's good for us. So he hasn't done any Mimeoplasmy things yet, interestingly enough. All right. He is going to draw some cards, which is pretty good. So this turn, we'll probably play Shared Triumph and Equip the Sword. Don't want to play into any board sweepers that he may have. Makes sense in a Mimeoplasm deck that he would. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to play... This only costs two to equip, right? Just refresh my memory. Yes. So, but I'm going to play Shared Triumph. Naming cats. Cats it is. Um, and then I'm going to equip the sword... And we're going to do some ramping, which is good. And also hit our opponent for four, which I don't mind either. All right. So we can actually play Raksha next turn if we want to. Um, I'll probably play the Greaves before I play Raksha just to be sort of safe. Um But we'll see. It d does depend on what our opponent chooses to do. Commander's Fear. All right. He's doing a lot of setup over there. It's a little scary. Well, we actually can only play Raksha next turn if we draw planes, by the way. So if we don't, it's not even an option. Okay. We did draw the planes. Um, I think I'm going to swing first. See if it draws anything out. We will grab our planes. I'm going to take our opponent down to 32. And yeah, I think I'm going to play the Greaves and Skyhunter Prowler. I mean, I guess I could have swung for two more if I did it in a different order. But I wanted to see if I could draw something out. Um, so yeah, we'll play, the, we'll play the Prowler first. See what happens there. Looks like it sticks. And then we'll play Lightning Greaves. Which I guess I can just stick on one of these. Uh, yeah, then we will. Just to give the bigger one haste, the one who's we've already invested the mana in for a sword, so. All right. 
So we're in a situation right now where if our opponent doesn't have removal and doesn't keeps doing what he's been doing, we play Raksha, equip the Greaves to it. Our opponent's taking like a colossal amount of damage. Um, we are down to one card in our hand, though, and our opponent still has a fistful. So that's always a little concerning. Acidic Slime. Okay, well, he can blow up my Greaves with that, certainly. He's going for the Sword of the Animist, actually. Okay, well, I'm okay with that, I think. Hmm. I think I play Raksha here. Um, there's a chance he's got a way to deal with it. But I think we make him do it. Um, so we're going to go for it here. Drawing sets Tiger isn't bad. Um, but yeah, we're going to play Raksha. See if it happens. If it does, our opponent is going to hurt, be hurting pretty badly here in a moment. And if he lets me move the Lightning Greaves over to Raksha. All right. Well, everyone has double strike. Um, so, and plus two, plus two. So we're going to swing with everybody. Two of them have Vigilance, too, which is pretty nice. Do you have Vigilance, too? Actually, they all have Vigilance. How about that? <laughs> I forgot Raksha has Vigilance. All right. Makes sense that our opponent blocked that way, but we have him down to 13, and we're basically another swing away from winning the winning the game. Um, just the ideal thing to do with Raksha is win quickly. Uh, you're not going to be able to win in grindier commander uh, matches unless you end up with, like, your um, the Planeswalker we have or uh, the X mana put X2-2 two, two, uh, cats into play. He may be about to sweep the board, though, which would be bad. But we do luckily have a little bit going on in our hand. Okay. Yep. That does kill all of our creatures. All right. Gets his acidic slime back too. Now he's going to blow up our greaves. Okay. Well, that's no fun. Now we have no equipment, so. Well, now we have equipment. And pretty good equipment at that. Um, I'm going to play this Warhammer. Kind of have the intention of flashing Sets Tiger in at the end of his turn. All right, he's going to 11. So his Mimeoplasm can't really do much right now. Um, we did make him have to use Living Death before it was like super advantageous for him. I mean, it was still, I mean, it can be a huge swing if the game is really going his way, where he has like eight creatures in his graveyard and stuff like that. So, right, he's just casting that to get in his graveyard to start stocking his graveyard for the Mimeoplasm. Attack, yes. It's good for us uh, because he has Death Touch and Sets Tiger. Wouldn't have been as valuable. All right, so I'm going to flash in Sets Tiger here. I'll name Green. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We could have taken two less if we did it a little differently, I guess. We're going to name Green. We're just trying to deal with this last 11 health that our opponent has, basically. Um, we're going to put the Warhammer here. See how that goes. And bash in for 7. Looks like that happens, um, so it's good for us. Question is here, do I play Mirror Entity? And I don't think I do. The chances that our opponent has another big removal spell are pretty good. Um, like another big board sweeper. So I think I just sort of hang back. Um, be nice if we saw that Greaves in play, because that would mean next turn we could play Raksha again and do what we did before. All right, he's willing to go down to three, and I am willing to let him. 
That means if he doesn't draw something super useful right now, well, that's bad. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. The Mimeoplasm can do some stuff now. We can play Mirror Entity and still sort of crash through all of that um, if we have to. He exiles one from my graveyard and one from his, right? Oh no, it's just two creature cards from graveyards. So he could play it as Fleshbag Marauder right now and then make it uh, an 8-8 by exiling his Moldgraf Monstrosity. Yeah, it looks like. Looks likely. I would play it. That's what I would do because um, the Fleshbag Marauder would make me sacrifice my creature. Yep. That's what he did. And he's an 11-9. Awesome. Okay. Hmm. I think I may just play Raksha. But maybe I should play Mirror Entity first. But right now I can only make this. This would be enough to trample over for the win um, if we equip it. So that's pretty sweet, I think. Uh, but not amazing. I mean, our opponent's still packing five cards in his hand. Um, so mean life from the loam get back his more yeah he can cycle it yep what would be a really good draw right now i guess removal would be um that's eh, not bad i guess um so we have nine mana right now, which is enough to recast our dude, but I think it's probably just better to play the two that are in my hand and see if my opponent can deal with it. So I'll play Mirror Entity and a Johnny Sunstriker. And I will put the Loxodon Warhammer here, I guess. Oh yeah, I have to pay one more. So it can allow us to just basically win with Mirror Entity if he doesn't have the removal for it next turn. Because I can make them both huge, and this would just, you know, trample over and do the last three that we need to do here. Looks like our opponent's doing something, though. Okay, well, just a storage counter. I want him to draw a card. Come on. Too bad. Didn't want to. Another, like, board super would be pretty bad for us, but we can at least play our commander, and we do have an equipment in play, so it's not wouldn't be the end of the world, um, but it wouldn't be good either. Our opponent's playing something that costs a lot of black. Let's see what it is. Okay, life's finale. Yep, well, there's the board sweeper I was thinking could be a possibility. So he can recast that and play Acidic Slime. I mean, he can play Mimeoplasm again next turn. He can also pick stuff from my library that he wants to put in here that would be good to have copies of. I'm trying to think what he might pick. Yeah, that's... I mean, he also just got really good cards out of our deck. Leon and Relic Order would be good for him to copy. Um, Jareth, Leonine Titans, just big and... Stone Hewer Giant uh, is just really good. So, did a pretty good job there. So, yeah, we're in trouble. I mean, we've we've run out of gas. This deck really does need to win early. Even though our opponent's at three, um, we're going to need to draw, like, a bomb to get us out of this. Are you going to go to one? You are. Wow. Well... <laughs> What do we have that can do one damage? <laughs> See what our opponent's doing here. At least Jace is in his uh, graveyard. I wouldn't mind drawing our uh, White Sun Zenith right now. I mean, that would be a card that would be really hard for him to overcome since it's an instant. Ooh, what's he casting here? Mimeoplasm again, I think. 
Um, and he'll blow up my Warhammer now. Yeah, he'll copy his Slime and maybe my Leonine Titan to make his dude huge and blow up a uh, Warhammer. I could go with the Relic Order, too. He did. No, he went with Sunstriker. He wants to gain that life back. Okay, well, we drew a creature um, for what that's worth. Um, I think I just go ahead and play it. Give my artifacts hexproof while I still can. Um, I mean, it was tempting to play our commander there, but I think just doing this is pretty good, too. I mean, both our guys have lifelink, um, but he's obviously at the life, uh, the lower life in this situation, so... He can swing here and gain seven, and I'll take it, um, which does suck, but we do have, you know, lots of ways to get rid of the remainder of his life, although blowing up the Sun Striker as soon as possible is certainly ideal because he's going to gain a lot of life back. I mean, I don't see a reason why he wouldn't swing here. I mean, I guess there's a chance I top deck an equipment and can, I can just kill him if he doesn't have instant speed removal. A fairly decent one, given the amount of equipment in our deck. But All right. He's just drawing a card. Doing something scary. <laughs> a lot of mana that can't be good for us right what is it like court of calling or something mind grind wow all right what did he hit there what did he grind generals kabuto strata scythe what was the next card we were going to draw mana vault that would have been not that great in the situation um, so at least we didn't lose something really important. Yeah, he did go for it. So if we top deck an equipment here, we win. <laughs> um, you know, that's pretty hopeful. And it has to be, I don't know if all my equipment gives plus more than plus one, plus one, but we'll see. Okay, lost Leon, and that is not bad either. But here I think I go ahead and play my commander. Um, I'm sure he can deal with it, but... So how much damage have I taken? That's the first I've taken. That's what I thought. Okay, so so you cost he costs eight, right? No, nine. So I have to tap everything I have for it. All right. Well, I'll do that. And I'll end my turn. See if another big board sweeper is waiting for us. This time, at least we have another creature in our hand. Um, our commander will then become quite expensive. Um, but if we're allowed to untap and uh, equip him, then we're in pretty good shape. I'm kind of surprised I've managed to survive as long as I have. But we had him at low enough life that he can't be, like, crazy aggressive. So that's probably the only reason we're still in, here, in this, because we did so much to him early. But definitely don't usually want to be on turn 12 with this deck. You usually want to just... We didn't get enough cats in play early to really just, like, devastate him on his on our our one alpha strike that we got. Our one... Uh, where we swung with the whole team. Although, you know, we did do a lot of damage. <laughs> so. Opponent thinking. I do like that if he does something to get Acidic Slime back right now, he can't blow up either of our artifacts. He can blow up our shared triumph, but that's probably okay. We're just going to take this if he swings. Although if he swings, it probably means he has a way out, but I think it's probably okay to take it. Um, let's see what he does now. All right. That's a good reason to want to gain life. <laughs> just to play a good card draw spell that costs some life. Board sweeper time. 
does kind of suck right now. Like, I'd almost rather him not have Infect right now, given the situation, but... He may be about to drop another board sweeper. What do we have in exile? Oh, yeah, the two things he exiled last time. If I get hit one more time by the Mimeoplasm at his current form, uh, we lose, so that's not so good. Okay, what are you doing with all this mana? Well, if it's not a removal spell or it was, what was that? I was yielding and missed. Okay, what just happened? I don't even see the spell in his graveyard. Ah, uh, Black Sun Zenith, that's why. Okay. Well, there's our Austere Command, which will come in handy if we run into yet another snag. But for now, we're just going to play Lost Leonin. And suit him up. And end our turn. Do need to draw a couple more sources of mana to ever cast um, our commander again. Isn't he a 2-1 default? He has to be. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I was thinking <laughs> I was thinking he should have three toughness for some reason, but one and one is, in fact, two. So he's going to get back his Mimeoplasm. Um, what creature can he get back right now or use right now against... I mean, I guess he can get... He can blow up our Warhammer now if he gets... Oh, he's going for another Life's Finale instead. So he's going to blow up our board again. Sooner or later, we're going to get to blow up his board. Hopefully. White Sun Zenith, man. That's <laughs> We don't need to draw that. What will he throw in our graveyard now? He, uh, Kembaka Regent and Jazari, Jazal Goldmane, and that's all he got, actually. I think he can search for three cards, but he only wanted to do two, I guess. Dread Return. Wow. That's pretty sweet. It's been a while since I've seen that card. Okay. Well, we just keep drawing into, into dudes, which is good. So we'll play our Cub. This one will have Evasion, too, if he doesn't deal with it. Um, what did he get back with the second Eternal Witness? I didn't actually look. Mind Grind. Okay, well, I'm okay with that. Um, I knew Life's Finale was still in there, so I knew another Board Sweeper wasn't definitely in his hand, just probably. All right. Will this cat live to, to finish the job? Maybe. But probably not, is my guess. This is a long game. Although mostly our opponent's taking the time, not me. But his deck is a lot more complicated than mine is. So I don't blame him. And he was put in a hole really early, and that always requires more thinking too. And, you know, we're basically in top deck mode, so we really don't have a lot of thinking going on. So, I can't imagine he'll tap out for Mind Grind here. No, he's just tapping. Okay, Stroke of Genius. So, he's digging for a way. That means he didn't have one already. Although, you'd think he would have tapped more mana if he was really desperate. Um, but maybe he has a removal spell that costs this much and he wanted to make sure he could cast all his removal. I don't know. 
Oh, okay, he's still digging, so that may be good for us. May mean he doesn't have a way to stop this Sky Hunter Cub. Golgari Signet. In fact, not a way to destroy Sky Hunter Cub. But he still has. Get Chromatic Lantern now. You could have. You could still use something like Cyclonic Rift or you know, Spot Removal. Sewer Nemesis. Wow. He's going to be big, but I think that means we win, right? <laughs> He's a 32-32, <laughs> but that means we finally win because he's tapped out, so interesting. Um, I guess there's a chance he has the Black Pact, so if he's about to use that on us, that would make me sad, um, but we'll see. All right. So we attack. See if we have the Black Pact waiting for us or if we finally won this game. We did it. <laughs> that was an interesting game. I mean, this deck usually can't win after it slows down, but we did enough damage early that we really just needed to have a creature finally stick and put the Warhammer on it, and that was enough to win. Um, and we still had, you know, Austria Command as a safety valve to get us more time to get rid of the last of his life. All right, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, 